Yo, yo, what is going on, Cover One crew? Welcome back to the show. Happy Friday to everybody. The weekend is approaching once again, and we got to talk some fantasy football issues. I mean, is it ups? Is it downs? Late round wide receivers one last time. Do we take them? Do we trust them? This is one of the biggest problems that we face as we try to find that supreme value. We got aging talent at the wide receiver spot with a nice influx of youth, but I got three on my board that we could potentially still grab extremely late, if not in the last round, you know, 14, 15 round and 12 team leagues. There is opportunity that these guys still could be something because change of scenery might dictate terms. First one I got is Adam Thielen, Carolina Panther now, former Minnesota Viking. We know Adam Thielen's been a fantasy PPR dar darling for many years. And all of a sudden, you know, this past year, you know, he's been dealing with injuries the past several years and kind of wore out his welcome in Minnesota when it came to, you know, the new head coaching system, how they did have it. Adam Thielen right now sits as the wide receiver 61 huge fall from grace even though he finished as a wide receiver 31 this past year scoring 145 points he only did hit 29 percent you know 29.4 percent i should say in boom consistency rate out of all of his games he did play in 17 contests so 70 receptions 716 yards and six touchdowns only got you 145 points so yes it was a drastic fall off for an adam thielen half pbr is always the score no kidding but he does got a new team new outlook and there is potential here could he be the new safety blanket for rookie quarterback bryce young this is what we're looking for this is why the Carolina Panthers restocked the cupboards just a little bit. Get some veteran wide receiver presence to help grow this young rookie potential franchise passer in a Bryce Young. This could be something, I'm telling y'all. I mean, I, I get it. There's a lot of mouths to feed on this team now. And, you know, how is Bryce Young going to perform in his rookie season? What do we truly expect? It could be an absolute dump fire in Carolina. But there is potential that Adam Thielen could still give you that PPR upside that we've been looking for. Uh, you know, kind of warranting that flex spot appeal. PPR upside, like I said, safety blanket from a Bryce Young could be something uh, that we could, uh, you know, get to be welcome about for sure. And, I mean, could he be the number one wide receiver? This is the question mark that we're talking about. Who is the number one wide receiver? Terrace Marshall, DJ Chark, uh, LaVisca Chenault, Jonathan Mingo, rookie. I mean, Shia Smith. Who is the number one wide receiver at this point? I don't think there is one. It's going to be defaulted by who is open by committee. And Adam Thielen could literally be the number one guy uh, fetching all the target share from this Carolina Panthers passing attack from a Frank Reich now, mind you, who is the head coach. This could turn out decently. I mean, what's the risk? There is none because you're snaking them all the way down at the bottom of your draft. I'm all in it. I still am in on Adam Thielen, at least for the first, uh, you know, few weeks. See how it goes. Keep him on the bench and see, you know, if he does pop a little bit, hey, you keep him on the bench and you still got some viability in this man. It's going to be hard to trust. Adam Thielen has definitely seen better days. His career is on the decline, but there still is opportunity in this old man, in football terms, to still, you know, give you the goodness that you require for fantasy football productivity. Next one I got is Paris Campbell. I've always been a Paris Campbell supporter, still one of the more youthful wide receivers. He's dealt with injuries his entire career, and I mean, this has been the biggest problem coming out of Ohio State. He does got speed. He's got good hands. He even has some truck ability, if you don't believe it. Go watch his film from back at Ohio State, and you know what I'm talking about. 2022 stats, career high, 17 games played, 63 receptions, 623 in yards, and three touchdowns, produced with a broken Matt Ryan. So, I mean, okay, this is positives, right? He finally was able to jump over that, you know, marker of saying, he could not uh, stay healthy. He stayed healthy this past year, and then he finds his way on a new club. He is with these New York Giants with Daniel Jones, Daniel Pennies, and a Brian Dable. So, I mean, what's the new look in New York? They got a lot of pieces to contend with here in New York. I mean, the wide receiver room alone, especially with a new addition to tight end, Slayton, Juan Dale Robinson. We got Darren Waller. Saquon Barkley still takes touches in the past game. Anna Shepard, you know that there is a 
lot of talent here. Hodgins, I even forgot. I mean, so there is a lot of, of weapons here in New York that they're going to have to contend with. It's very interesting how it's going to be. How is this ball going to get spread around? It's going to be another committee approach. You got to feel under Brian Dable this season. Last year, I mean, wide receiver 48 for a Paris Campbell touchdown. Uh, negatives, you know, I mean, that was the biggest one. Only three touchdowns. But, I mean, if he can get around that and understand finding his way into the end zone, if Dable can manufacture ways to get Paris Campbell the ball, we could see some goodness here coming out of him. 117.6 points. He only saw 17.6% boom rate last year. Not very good. What is that, like three games he's hit out of all his 17? Not good at all. And we got to see him improve in that respect as well. Speed and skill will translate in New York. That's the question mark. Will he still remain healthy? Will he continue down this path of this rebirth, rejuvenation of his career? Maybe he's finally, you know, hitting the ground running and he's going to be able to do something with these uh, New York Giants with the big blue. I still, I mean, okay, this one, if it's between Adam Thielen and Paris Campbell, it's quite a risk, right? I'd rather have Adam Thielen at this point over a Paris Campbell, but you see the upside in the youth, the potential for him to have a role it's not a wide receiver one role, obviously, like Adam Thielen could potentially get, but Paris Campbell still is on that radar, likely will go undrafted in all fantasy circles in 12-team leagues. Deeper leagues, he should get snagged, but it, Paris Campbell's definitely interesting and one on my radar. Continuing one last time, I can't trust you anymore. This is it. This is the standard right now. This is the last year I'm going to give y'all, including my guy Robert Woods, Bobby Trees. He finds himself now in the Houston Texans wide receiver locker room. He is wide receiver 85 in terms of ADP right now. He's fallen down a cliff simply because of playing with Tennessee and the lackluster pass attack that they don't have in Tennessee. Found his way to these Houston Texans. He played in 17 games last year after coming off that ACL. 53 receptions for only 527 and two touchdown receivings. I mean, he was the wide receiver 64 last year. Didn't even crack 100 points. 89.2 and and he uh, followed a Paris Campbell, surprisingly, with only 17.6% on the boom consistency rate. Not good. No bueno. 2021, we know that, uh, I mean, uh, Robert Woods tore his ACL. Then he was traded to those Tennessee Titans in 2022. This run-heavy offense, ACL rebound season. I mean, okay. Do we suggest that he has new opportunity? Lowest statistical achievement we've seen from Robert Woods since 2015. So everyone definitely is going to be fading Robert Woods a lot this year, which is a great sign if you want to take a shot late and say, could Bobby Trees be something in this Houston Texans offense? And I'm a little bit more bullish on it because I do believe he could be. Just like a Bryce Young with Adam Thielen, Robert Woods is here to help uplift a C.J. Stroud rookie franchise, potential franchise quarterback in the making safety blanket-esque just like Thielen. Uh, I think Robert Woods is going to be that guy that could provide a safety blanket PPR upside for a C.J. Stroud. Target share dispersal is the biggest problem here where I feel more safe to suggest it for an Adam Thielen. You can't really, you know, peg who's going to be the target pig here in Houston. Nico Collins, John Mechie, Dalton Schultz, Tank Dell, Xavier Hutchinson. I mean, my guy Amari Rogers, if he can remain on the roster, there are so many wide receivers on this club. And you know Houston wanted the competition. That's why they brought in everybody to, uh, you know, compete to be a wide receiver in this room. But I think Robert Woods has a good opportunity to rebound in the later stages of his career. And I think he could be a very good one. We'll see how John Mechie continues his recovery from the, the cancer. So if he's back on the field, I mean, it could make a Robert Woods, you know, something of a guy who's just, you know, uh, spelling a John Mechie because John Mechie's a killer talent. is going to absolutely be a dynamo. Tank Dell with the speed and wheels, the route run ability. So we, Robert Woods is not, uh, you know, out of the dark to say that he's got a starting spot on this Houston roster at this point. But I do believe, based on veteran leadership, he will own the room. He will be the leader in the room. And early on in the season, we could see between weeks one and seven, Robert Woods, Bobby Trees could have a decent stat line that we could all at least, you know, think about starting in a pinch when it's, uh, you know, depending on injuries and early bye weeks in a pinch, Bobby Trees could be that guy. I mean, he's going to be the mentor, like I said, to this team and this club. And Robert Woods, to me, is this final last straw because last year was a dream. Dreadful one. Everyone dropped him on the waiver wire and never saw him on another squad again. But there's three for you, man. For late round flyers, 
We got Adam Thielen. We got Paris Campbell. We got Robert Woods potentially being last round picks, if not waiver wire pickups that you could snag. And they may even give you some decent point productivity to help your team win that fantasy championship because that's exactly what it's all about. But nevertheless, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in those comments. Give me your thoughts. What are you thinking? You staying away from all three of these wide receivers? You taking one more shot on these guys like I may do in my draft, depending on how my draft does fall? Put them in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. But we'll see you next time. I am out. Mm -hmm.